The past is all around us, all the time. It's just that we often need to see it from a different angle, to recognise it. The present, the moment we live in, presses in on us from every side. But when the past wins our attention, when it is valued, carefully conserved and made available, then we have the opportunity to step out of the narrowness of the present to discover a larger horizon. At first, archive entries might look just like simple inscriptions on a ledger. But as we examine them more closely, it is the lives of real people that start to emerge their priorities, their choices, their own paths. New technologies are helping us with this task. Use of artificial intelligence is even facilitating the optical interpretation of handwritten records, showing how the digital present and the past can come together in surprising ways. Our records in the Aston University archives are about the men and women who once stood it in this place. The living, breathing individuals who came before us and who went out into a world full of opportunity and sometimes human tragedy. But the records tell us other things too. The documents give us also the names of countless businesses and employers across the city who would send their students to study at the Birmingham Municipal Technical School. In the pages of these sometimes fragile volumes, we can delineate a picture of Birmingham's business landscape, of the network of manufacturers and makers that surrounded the Birmingham Municipal Technical School, and of the ecosystem to which Aston's predecessor contributed, and from which it drew life. In our past lies our future. As the Birmingham Municipal Technical School met the challenges of the Second Industrial Revolution in the 1890s, so Aston today is facing the challenges of the Fourth Industrial Revolution and will face those that follow it. This past is our past. Paradoxically, it is also our future and it is just waiting for us now to uncover its secrets.